Hello friends, I am Anil Ban, all of you are most welcome from Fusion Tech. Today is the 47th series of Tech News and uh, friends, I hope that all of you enjoy Tech News series and friends, if you have any problem, please comment below my YouTube video. So let's start today's Tech News. So friends, today's first Tech News, WhatsApp two-step verification now rolling out now. So how to get the new security features so the whatsapp two-step verification security features which had been under testing for several time month means finally being rolled out or to all of the user uh, whatsapp users with the features those who use whatsapp on android iphone or windows platform will be able to verify their number when they install the app on a new device more securely so users will have to provide a six digit, digit passcode when registering the, uh, their phone number with whatsapp again or any attempt to verify their phone number through the app so in order to enable the options whatsapp security features users have to open whatsapp settings account two step verifications enable so the company said in its release post enabling these features users will need to enter their chosen whatsapp passcode and optionally provide an email address so that they can recover their account even they forget the passcode and the um, not, uh, notably that the whatsapp is saying that it does not verify this email address to confirm its accuracy therefore it is highly recommended that users make sure that uh, they provide an uh, accurate uh, email address so that they don't end up locked out their account if they forget their passcode so friends the second technique is that honor v9 dual rear camera set to launch on 21st of february 2017 so uh, Huawei Honor brand um, uh, is uh, all set to launch a new smartphone, the V9 is in ITS uh, homeland uh, later this month. Uh, the Chinese company has confirmed a launch date uh, for the Honor V9 in a teaser on Weibo, the Chinese uh, equivalent on Twitter. So the official teaser confirmed presence of dual rear camera on Honor V9. The V9, there are uh, no detail about availability of the smartphones and um, I suspect that it may go on sale soon after China launch based on a TINA listing. So the upcoming Honor V9 is set to features 5.7 inch QSD 2.5D curved glass and will be powered by octa-core Kirin 960 processor coupled with the 6GB of RAM and, and the handset is set to come with 128GB storage while supporting additional 128GB storage via microSD card and the, EO, in the EMUI 5.0 based on Android Nougat comes with the dual SIM capability, the smartphone spots 12MP dual rear camera with the dual tone LED flash and the laser AF, it also packs on 8MP front camera, handset spots a fingerprint scanner and is set to pack a 3900mAh battery with fast charging support and roughly amount in Indian currency is the 20,000 and in European is the 269 so uh, that's uh, and 5.2 inch full hd display octa core kirin 655 processor coupled with the 3gb so friends the third technique is that the samsung galaxy c9 pro with 6gb ram now available for price orders in india so as well as samsung's um, offline stores uh, dubbed smart cafe so the company in india launch has confirmed that the smartphone will be available via all leading mobile stores so the company is also offering uh, some offers exclusively to consumers who pre-book the Samsung Galaxy C9 Pro uh, until Sunday. Samsung is offering one-time screen replacement for a period of 12 months on pre-booking. The South Korean company is also providing EMI offer to HDFC customers. The smartphone shipment are expected to start from 24th February. And Samsung in India last month unveiled the Galaxy C9 Pro priced as the rupees 36,900. The Galaxy C9 Pro is the company's first smartphone with a 6GB RAM and it was launched in China back in October. The dual SIM is of course in 2 nano and 4G enabled Samsung Galaxy C9 Pro runs under 6.0 Marshmallow out of the box. It sports a 6 inch full HD, 1018 to 1920 AMOLED display and powered by an octa core Qualcomm Snapdragon 65. SOC with four cores clocked at 1.95 gigahertz and the rest of uh, had 1.4 gigahertz and photography the Galaxy C9 Pro packs a 16 megapixel camera both front and rear and the rear 16 megapixel camera com comes with the aperture 
f slash 1.9 and the dual led flash selfie camera has the same apertures since the flash module so um, uh, let's set the connectivity options so 4g light and uh, bluetooth version 4.2 wi-fi 802.11 and uh, obviously abgn gps and uh, bi2 nfc usb type c and 3.5 millimeter audio jack and measures 160.9 into 80 0.7 into 6.9 millimeter and weight approximately 189 grams so friends fourth technos is that the snapchat a parent company to spend one dollar billion on amazon web services so snap in Snap Incorporation's owner of the popular Snapchat app has said it expected to send $1 billion roughly as 6,689 crores over the next five years to use Amazon Com's cloud services in addition to the $2 billion cloud contract it already has with Google. So Snap may eventually invest in building its own infrastructure instead of Thursday. So in an attempt to uh, feeling related to its planned stock market the debate in March, so the company which filled uh, its IPO registration statement a week earlier is looking at uh, $3 billion. So uh, Snap could be involved at between $20 billion and $25 billion, giving the company the biggest valuation in a US technology IPO since Facebook incorporation. And uh, Snapchat, which started in 2012 uh, as a free mobile app uh, that allow users to send photo that vanish within a second, complete with the Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook for users. So, friends, uh, fifth tech news is that um, Google to remove large chunk of apps from Play Store that violate user data policy. So. Uh, Google has uh, started sending emails uh, to certain Android app developers around the global tel uh, telling uh, them to their apps might be violating the company user data and policy. So basically the app has asks for uh, or gets access or to um, the personal or device information. A valid privacy policy should be provided to consumers by the developer. This is a, a clear indication uh, that the Google will be doing some uh, spring uh, clearing that of the play store soon so according to the email developers have to provide a link to valid privacy policy on their apps store license license page and within the app by 15th march they also have an option to revise their app so that it doesn't request for sensitive permissions such as the camera microphone contact account and phone failure to provide a link might lead a lower visibility of their app or even have the have been removed from the play store by google so it seems like a nice move to remove all those junk apps from the play store the powers could significantly bring down the number of apps on the platform uh, but certain app developers seems to be happy with this decision so friends uh, sixth technique is that facebook Lite reaches 200 million users worldwide and it's a lot better than free basis so Internet.org and uh, or free basic uh, by Facebook was not exactly a failure at what it attempted to do, but it would make uh, for a good um, case study on how bad implementation of an idea can be determined of um, customers. So there were plenty of reveals, some seeming of some really interesting perspective that come out of Facebook Internet.org episode in India. Finally, the Telecom Regulatory Authority of India ruled in favor of next neutrality and banned the services on grounds of different pricing and so effectively banning all services that offered or allowed discriminatory pricing of for data services based on content so but the past and few past and facebook along with the ceo mark zuckerberg has moved on zuckerberg too was quite and to comment the free basic was only one of many initiatives it had in store for big bring on the internet to those without internet access so so friends, the uh, seventh technos is that meet the new Royal Enfield Classic 500 Green Fly, it's a Stranar style. So Royal Enfield Classic 500 Green Fly is a customized uh, motorcycle that has been created by Jules de Jean. Uh, the motorcycle gets a green paint scheme and the green fly will be in line with uh, more power and uh, dirty dog versions of the Classic 500 um, earlier. So Mopoa and Dirty Dark were showcased in 2016, wheels and waves in France. 
so green fly is essentially a customized or well infilled classic 500 for off-road purpose and users uh, the frame to contain the gt so for off uh, road attack the customized classic 500 gets a new set of uh, suspension system uh, where the rear dual springs have been replaced by uh, monoshock which are positioned under the rider seat the front uh, suspension comprises uh, of upside down frogs in black the motorcycle also gets a fat of uh, road knobby tires and uh, which measures a uh, 140 mm at front and 150 mm at the rear the chunk tires uh, sit on green alloy wheels with v spoke design and um, the braking du duties are carried out about the petrol discs at front while the rear gets the same unit as the contain the gt so friends um, eight techniques is that uh, map my india launches the national digital address system elc so map my india has introduced a new national digital address system called elc that aims to help uh, indian travelers and communities uh, uh, so uh, computers uh, search and share and uh, navigate to the destination exact draw step far more easily and quickly and uh, uh, essentially ELOC is a six character code of, of any place uh, be it building flat or office uh, business city village locality road and uh, so on so it include a comprehensive accurate and a precise uh, doorstep uh, level 3d digital map database and turn by turn navigation solution set the company statement so map my india said that it has uh, invested over 200 crores over the last 20 years and as of today over 2 crores of con count, um, counting um, ELOC across the 7000 um, uh, uh, above and plus urban towns and 6 uh, lakhs of village in rural uh, area in India are already re readily to available uh, for individual business and government users to use uh, instantly for free. So friends, uh, ninth technique is that BlackBerry launches a BBM Enterprise SDK secure messaging platform for enterprises. So Canadian smartphone maker BlackBerry has launched BBM Enterprises SDK, that means a software development kit, a cloud-based communications platform as a services that is called C Pass to enable developers to integrate secure messaging voice and video capability into the applications and the services. So with more than eight Security certifications the BBM Enterprise SDK provides the highest level of security for messages, voice, and video for iOS and uh, for Android. Benefits of using BBM Enterprise SDK include enterprise grade security with BlackBerry's NOC architecture, faster time to market, greater st stability and scalability, and reduce the cost. The, com the company said. So that's all for today's tech news. And friends, if you have any problem, any com um, query please comment below my youtube video and please uh, my friend subscribe my channel and those who friend who are not subscribed please subscribe my channel that is fusion tech and please uh, share my video and please uh, hit the like button and please keep support me keep uh, support my channel so uh, that's all for so thank you very much jai hint bharat mata ki jai thank you